Hey guys, what's up? So the other day, I'm out there flipping some cards, and I find a good deal on Randy Moss. And I'm like, hey, Randy Moss, I could probably, you know, wait a little while until he gets a little more expensive, and then I'll go out there and sell him, and I'll make a tidy little profit, and then I could use the coins for giveaways. So I played a couple go uh, a couple games with him, and then I just got so many highlights. I'm like, I'm keeping him. This guy is so crazy. I have to do a highlight video series on him. Easiest highlight series I've ever filmed. With Randy Moss on the field, it's pretty much snap. Wait, press X, and then let Randy Moss go up and give me some points. It's just that easy. I mean, did you see that? It, like, took no effort on my part to go up and score points. I just snapped the ball, waited a couple seconds, tapped a button, and then I'm like, hey, look, Randy Moss is going to go get me some points. It took absolutely no skill because the guy, even when he tried to tackle him, he changed his mind and decided to bow at the altar of Randy Moss and let him walk in for a touchdown. If we compare the stats, you can see he's not as fast as Ted Ginn, but he's significantly stronger. Uh, he's a little, he's actually stronger than Larry Fitzgerald, but he is faster than Larry. So, you know, he's kind of a really nice mix between them, even though he doesn't really, I don't like to view him like that. He's a completely separate beast. If you look at those catchings, he's better at catching the ball than anybody else out there. His route running's a little lower, so he's not going to be running those out routes as well. But, I mean, if you have Randy Moss and you're not sending him deep or some sort of deep play, you're, you know, could probably not use him right. Bring him over the blockings. Like, you know, I like to run the ball a lot. A lot. And while he's not as good at run blocking as Larry Fitzgerald, he's significantly better than Ted Ginn. So I have to avoid running to Ted Ginn's side whenever I want to throw it deep. But I don't have any of those worries when it comes to Randy Moss. I can run it to his side or Larry's side, and it brings me a lot of flexibility at the line of scrimmage. So I've been killing this guy with Moss the whole game. Watch on the left side. He's going to go and he's going to try to double cover Randy Moss. And he's like, no, not following anybody else. He's going to Moss. And Plunky gets off a great throw. And uh-oh. <laughs> Just, you know, he can go deep. And when you are when he can't go deep because you're near the end zone, you think, you know, I can't have to worry about Randy Moss anymore because he can't go deep because you're near the end zone. That's wrong. <clears throat> Time for Randy Moss to unleash the fade catch from the 20-yard line. Go deep. Look at that great block by Jake Long. What a beast. Uh, he's not part of the Bash Brothers, but he does get the job done. Long enough. Buys me some time. Let's go deep. Here comes Randy Moss. Uh-oh. Look at that. He's got double users. We're both going up for it. We're both going up for the ball. But because Randy Moss is so tall, it's just going to graze over that guy's fingertips and give me six points. Look at that. Double covered right to the user doesn't matter randy moss unstoppable beast randy moss is such a great card to keep your opponents guessing but you know you really have him on the field so you can let him do his thing he was known as the greatest one trick pony in nfl history i think it's a little bit of an insult but man does this guy does he do it well he is so crazy look at this bomb deep holds on through the catch and traffic just even though you know it's just absolutely crazy the count the catches he can make but he's also great at run blocking i can run it as much as i want and i love to run the ball and when when they start coming up i also can unleash the play action and once i do watch randy moss just come down with that no stopping him you know, you can move the ball at will, keep your opponents guessing. He's strong enough to run block. He's fast enough and, you know, tall enough to create huge catches. And in the games where you go deep, like, I think I'm pretty sure he just completed a bomb. I think it was to Vernon because they were triple covering Moss. But I'm going to audible Moss to a fade. He can make plays for you near the end zone, not you know, far from the end zone. He can make those bombs. He can, you know... People, you, you can make fades again with Randy Moss, just absolutely critical. Here, I don't know how I got sacked. I thought that was pretty ridiculous that I got sacked so quickly, despite him only rushing like three or four. I was I was pretty upset. So, I know what it is weak. He's running a single high safety. So, I hurry up back to the line, and I just let Randy Moss burn past the user. I almost got sacked again, but look at that. Randy Moss totally does a great job. Larry Fizzley is a great block down. And Moss makes a game-changing 95-yard touchdown. Watch the right side as my blocker gets owned by that guy. But Plunkett's great release saves me. Check out my Plunkett video if you haven't. And Randy Moss goes deep. Just, just so awesome that he can do that.
And the best part about that was that that was the only touchdown that I had the whole game. We both had pretty neat defenses. Just And this guy, he went for two. I hate people that go for two, but I shut it down. He used, he used his Vic to try to get the option. No deal. Champ Bailey said no in the run game. I wasn't recording at the time, so I was you know chopping this clip right here. But it was some pretty crazy plays, and it was a good game. And Randy Moss was the difference maker. So this is my very first game. The very first play I've done with Randy Moss. You know, I, I, I'm coming in expecting him to be like a little weaker of again for streaks. But his very first play goes deep, gets a touchdown. I'm like, hey, cool. Randy Moss, you know, he's getting the job done. He's doing pretty good. You know, Ted Ginn probably could have done that. But he's pretty good. And then he starts pulling out these catches that I'm just like, wow. Did you guys see a little user at the end go to the outside? He could do that. And then he went up. He made that sweet fade catch. And then he goes here. Burns past the guy. He's just standing there in August. He doesn't know what he's doing. And Randy Moss just can look at this jump. Out jumps the guy completely for another touchdown. And at this point, another touchdown. I mean, Randy Moss, just such a beast. Going to same guy. Same play, right? Look at that out jumping on the user. Can't stop, you know, trying to double cover out user. Oh, and then he gets a, he says, I'm going to play it safe. Can't go deep on him. And he trucks over the guy. And look at that. Just goes deep. And now, look at that. Randy Moss with nine touchdowns. Un, just an unreal game. Thought I'd give you guys a little hint of my bloopers that I'm going to have coming soon. Here, I've been pretty unlucky this game, and you're going to see one of the reasons of things that happens to me. This is how I lose games. Just like that. So, I mean, Randy Moss is a great card and pretty much a god. He's not going to, you know, sometimes he is human, but he can do, he can still do some crazy things. Look at his speed to get around the out route right there. Just so versatile. And after the out route, I can hurry up back to the line. And look at Randy Moss lay down the run blocking to clear the rest of the path. That's what's so great about him. I don't have to adjust to, Rand to Fitzgerald's side. I can run to Randy's side. I can use him to run block right there, provide for touchdown, or I can use him to go deep. He's so flexible, and he does a lot for my team, That as well as the pressure. Here, 4th and 12, I just had a drop by Larry Fitz, so there's only one person I'm going to. I pass lead up, and then Randy Moss takes that slant pass for a touchdown. So he can take slants and turn them into touchdowns. He can take little out routes, turn them into big gains. I'm playing another game with Randy Moss. And I get a message from somebody asking how much I paid for him. Well, I paid about, uh, about like 15,000 coins, if you want to know. So it might be more expensive now. Definitely recommend a Randy Moss for yourself. Uh, I wouldn't recommend actually paying anything for them. But I only pay coins because I, I'm still only a 96 team. And I respond to this guy asking him to sub me on YouTube so I can help get my message out there. And I don't know if you're subbing or not, but I hope you enjoyed this video. And I did have a lot of fun playing with Randy Moss. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of Randy Moss kicking butt out there. He's one of the most balanced, most dominant wide receivers in the game. I absolutely adore him. Highly recommended. You know, if you guys can afford to go out and get him, do so. he would completely change your team. Sub to me here on YouTube, trying to get the message out there. You know, I got great things coming all the time. My offensive strategies, my defensive strategies, clock control. Come join us on Evo. If you haven't yet, mutevolution.com slash register. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to sub. See you guys next time.